everybody, welcome back. It's Gina. Uh, today I want to share a homemade, um, our handmade tome. I, you know, did the um, Nick book course uh, about a year ago. <laughs> and yes, I'm sorry to say I I haven't had much time to devote to this. I, I did five journals, I think about um, six months ago, so I've just gotten around to it. Um, so if you're not familiar with it, these are completely handmade um, journals from scratch. Um, very, very sturdy. Um, it's like a keepsake journal. It, it's it's just a fantastic course, but I'm, I'm really pleased with how this one's come out. Um, this journal measures about five and three quarters by eight and a half. It's got a two and a quarter inch, yeah, it's a two and a quarter inch spine. Sorry, I'm struggling here. Um, actually, it's closer to, to two and a half. Um, so as you can see, I've done quite a bit of layering on the, on the front of it. Um, added some buttons, lots of lace. Um, just did like a, a nice mixed media collage of paper and, and fabrics and buttons. And the closure is a seam binding closure. And I'm just going to jump right in. This is five signatures. I think it's got approximately 200 pages. So it's a big, big journal. Um, so this is the front. I uh, hope you guys, let me just keep checking. Sorry, I've had to alter um, my camera thing so that you guys could see the whole journal. Okay, so I'm going to just try to move through this quickly because there's a lot to show. Um, this has got a little notepad, um, journaling cards. There's two pockets here, as you can see. Fussy cut. Um, some scrapbooking paper. I've got digital paper. I've got all kinds of laces. There's another pocket. Uh, lots of hand stitching throughout. Everything has been coffee and tea dyed. There's a mix. So um, I've got vintage book pages, Edith Holden pages, um, ledger paper. This is another pocket. Now not every pocket is going to have uh, a tag in it because the book was just getting huge, so I've left lots of spaces for you. This is another double pocket. This has um, been eco dyed with avocado skins. Um, here is another collage snippet pocket. A lot of work went into this. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's come out. Uh, like I said, I have bought this course I think it's been about a year and a half but I've only had this is just the second chance I've had to actually work on them this is a double pocket um, and I've really enjoyed it uh, they're just fantastic this would make a beautiful um, gift for a bridesmaid or an anniversary gift sorry about that uh, somebody was at the door um, this is a double pocket, um, like I said, a, lot, a nice combination. I call this my vintage shabby chic because it's it's still got a nice vintage feel to it, but obviously I'm back to the colors I'm most comfortable with. Um, and here I've just done a little a flip up, some altered um, guess checks. I've done, um, I was trying to think, I've done some decoupage in this. Uh, gosh, I don't know, so much. Um, another pocket, little envelope. Like I said, I'm just going to move through this pretty quickly. This is a um, envelope for you to store some things. Vintage buttons. This is a pocket here. You can see lots of... Uh, Lots of layer and lots of work. This is a lot of love put into this one. Beautiful papers. Here's another uh, journaling card. I mean, this this is it. This could last you quite a while. And like I said, I, there's so many things that you could use this uh, 
handmade book for Pocket, another little journaling spot. Some more. Uh, did I say there's five signatures? Um, if you want to know the specifics, I'm, I'm going to have a, a link for the listing. And that'll tell the, the amount of pages, but I'm pretty sure this has got 200 uh, pages in it. And here we've got uh, some more places to journal. Another little tag. This is some of the Tim Holtz uh, wallpaper sample. More of the um, Snippet Pockets. Love those. This is some vintage, um, oh gosh, what? I'm trying to think, like a, a music program sheet. And I've left the strings hanging in this journal. You could always snip those off, but I think they, they really added to it, so I've left them there. Um, some more of that uh, vintage um, sheet music. And this is just a little uh, belly band here. Back at that. Sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to get through this because... Um, it's been it's been a long day, and I've got uh, we've as you guys all know that hurricane has went through um, my part of the country. So I'm I'm curious. I mean I know everybody's safe, but I do want to um, make some phone calls uh, now that it's it's the right time to be calling over and make sure. You know what the damage is. I'm just oh gosh. Oh, it's just uh, it's been a rough night. I've been so worried about um, my daughter and my son-in-law are in Tallahassee, and uh, just really concerned because I know that that they're accustomed to the hurricanes, but um, nobody expected uh, or was prepared for one like this. So. Um, like I said, I know they're okay, but I'm just really, really anxious to talk to them and make sure, um, you know, everything's okay as far as uh, their house and cars and <clears throat> all of that. So that's another reason I'm really anxious to just to get through this and uh, and and get on the phone. <laughs> I hope everybody is uh, safe, and I hope the storm just gets on out. Oh, this is a tea bag um, pocket I stuck in that's been decoupaged. Add a little tag to that. Another little pocket. Center that signature, and then this one I added a couple of these. Um, layered tags. I don't know if I pointed out. There's another one in there. I may have just passed through it too quickly. I'm really sorry guys. I, I should be taking longer, but I just wanted to do a quick... Ah, uh, here it is. So there's... Uh, and then you've got another of the um, snippet pockets. I love those. I cannot wait to find some time to make those. I think I enjoy making those more than anything. I am really starting to enjoy the sewing machine. I wish I could get better, but Maybe um, next year, if I've got the time and the money, I would like to take a course um, because I'm very interested in trying to get into more of the material things. Um, but we'll see. Um, here I've just done a little tuck spot and added a couple more little tags and journaling cards. And this is the back. This has got two pockets for you, and then um, I've just added that little journaling card. Gosh, guys, I really hope I haven't gone through this too quickly. Um, there will be photos on uh, the Etsy site, and if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me either on Facebook, Instagram, or Etsy, or here. Um, just leave me a comment, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, there's just a quick little flip through so you can see it's it's a big, beautiful journal. I'm really pleased with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and um, I will be back soon. Take care.
拜。